Hurry up! Yo, what the fuck is going on? Comic Guy Soundways, man. Destiny, Rise of Iron. Fucking shit, man. We are like fucking two days out, and son of a bitch. I can't wait, man. Um, I am not the most hardcore Destiny player. I give it that. I know that. But you know what? I I I really enjoy me some fucking Destiny. So in light of the fucking Rise of Iron coming out, I'm not gonna sit there and throw spoilers. I'm not gonna sit there and say what the fuck is going on with the game. I know a little bit of shit, but I've tried to keep it fucking away from me. And the reason being because I don't want to be fucking. Uh, I don't want to fucking know anything about it, man. I want to go into it completely blind. I want to know and go into it completely with a fresh set of eyes. I don't want to know a goddamn thing about the game. So, with that being said, man, I thought I'd just share my personal story of how me and Destiny came to be. So, Destiny came out. Uh, fuck, was it two years ago now? Some shit like that. I believe it was September, if I'm not fucking mistaken. So fucking destiny man i remember i got off fucking work and i went to the fucking GameStop that was closest to my job just to fucking make sure they had a fucking copy and well you know what they fucking did and there was a long ass line in front of me and everybody was buying the fucking game so i got my fucking copy i went fucking home i think i had to work early as hell the next morning but i was like fuck it whatever so anyway I had a few drinks, I turned the fucking game on, and yeah, I was, yeah, I was, yeah, I was, I was disappointed as fuck. Really, like, really fucking disappointed. My fucking ghost is like, hey man, what the fuck, dude, man, I'm, you ain't been around for centuries and shit, dude, man, I'm so glad I see you, let's, let's go shoot some aliens. I'm like, cool, let's go do it, man. We go through, and then, like, there's so many mechanics and shit, because I've never played a game of this caliber, man. This was, like, I was thinking that it was going to be, like, some Halo-esque shit made by Bungie, and it was completely not that to a degree. So, anyway, I played the shit, and I'm like, the fuck is going on? This is not the game that I thought it was going to be. I mean, I understand it's online and this and that, but anyway, long story short, I tried. I really tried to like the game, and I just couldn't. And honest to God, I was so disappointed. I was really fucking having fun shooting the Fallen and the Hive and all the fucking uh, finish the Black Guard and all that shit. And I was like, man, this what the fuck is this shit? Like, it's, this is not for me. I mean, I mean, you know what? Bungie's moved on to something new. I, I, it's not for me. And unfortunately, because I was looking forward to that game for fucking like two years, like since it was announced and shit. E even me and a guy at work was like talking about this shit like all the fucking time. Like, what's Destiny gonna be? And God, it looks so much like Halo with the Fallen in the tank and all that shit. Whatever. So, long story short, I think I tried to pick it up like one more time at one point. And I was like, I, I, I just can't get into this fucking game. I mean, I just can't get into it. I couldn't understand the mechanics and, and and I was like man these people like I, I've never even gotten a fucking legendary but like twice and how the fuck do you get an exotic that seems like that was just unreachable at that point so yeah you call me what you want whatever but me and destiny just didn't click at first so I would say maybe eight months maybe yeah about eight months after destiny came out maybe nine months something like that um, I got into a really bad car accident and I broke my back. Um, yeah, I know I feel like fucking this guy over here. Like I broke my fucking back, you know, and shit and came back. Anyway, so I broke my fucking back in a car accident. And yeah, I was out of work for like almost two to three months. Um, my back was fucked up. I couldn't walk for a week. Um, I didn't almost die or nothing, but I mean, I was fucked up. I was fucked up. Um, that meant I wasn't going to work and no money was coming to the house. So I was like, I can't splurge on any new video games. So I fucking reached up on the fucking shelf. I was like, let me fucking try Destiny just one more fucking time. Just one more fucking time. Let me, let me, let me play this shit. And something just fucking clicked. I don't know what it was or what it wasn't, but I fucking fell in love with the game. I was obsessed with the game. I couldn't fucking stop. I'm like, what the fuck was I playing this shit before? What the fuck was I doing wrong? What the, f how the fuck did I not understand this before? 
oh my god, me and Destiny were fucking BFFs, man. I played Destiny so goddamn much, my fucking hands hurt. I mean, I played it from the moment that I got up till, you know, obviously I took care of my kids and stuff. I mean, but I mean, I fucking played and played and played and fucking played some more. I mean, all goddamn day, all goddamn night, doing fucking raids, doing this shit. I'm like, oh my god, my whole, like, my whole life had opened up at that point. I fucking fell in love with Destiny, man. I played it religiously. And then I fell in love with even the lore even much more. Like, even if I wasn't playing Destiny, I was, like, watching YouTube videos and, like, watching what the fucking Thorn meant and the fucking Last Word, that whole shit, and, you know, where the Fallen came from. I was a fucking obsessed with Destiny. I loved that game. It, I will tell you right now, I am... 32 years old and I have played a lot of video games and I have been obsessed with a lot of video games to a degree not so much um, I have like, Some kind of ADD. I don't fucking know anyway, so I mean Star Fox 64 man, I played that shit for probably like eight months straight over and over and over but anyway that was old me but most, a lot of times I played a game not really into online as aspects of uh, PvP uh, you know, a little bit, not so much, um, fucking playing with other players, man, I was a soap player, I loved the game for its story, and that was that, and I think that's why I didn't like Destiny as much as it was when it came about, because I'm more of a story, you know, conclusion, and end, middle, beginning, I just like a good story with the game, the whole online thing, it just didn't work for me very well, so any fucking way, um, Destiny changed all that shit, I turned into a fucking PvE monster. Uh, uh, wait a minute, I fucked up. Pv PvP, yeah, P player versus player. I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. PvE, uh, PvP. I played PvE, PvP, PP, doo doo, fucking shit. PvP, uh, the online player versus player. Man, son of a bitch. I, I, I played it so much. I'm not good at player versus player, uh, online multi matches and shit like that. But I got so good at Destiny because I played the game so goddamn much. I was fucking, I was holding my own. Um, I can't hold my own that much. I'll get to that. But I I got really good. I mean, most of the time I was number one. And even on the winner losing team, man, I mean, I was, I was, I was holding my shit on my kill death radios, man. I was doing all right. I was doing, I was doing all right. But anyway, uh, to be honest, um, Destiny fills it out for me. Um, the Taken King, oh my god, fucking Taken King, son of a bitch. Fuck the Taken King. I, I, it, it robbed so many hours of my life. Anyway, from Vanilla Destiny, not so much until I fucking had no choice but to stay at home and I couldn't spend any money on games, so I had to just play my collection. Destiny got a hold of me. Um, I don't even, I'll never even forget the fucking night that I got the Gallahorn. You know how I got the fucking Gallahorn? Uh, I got the Gallahorn uh, by starting a new character and going through the entire story. Because, you know, I didn't even start. I always played with just one character. I was just a Titan. And I was like, fuck it. I got someone to Destiny. I started the other two characters, the Warlock and the Hunter. Uh, I believe it was the Hunter. It was the third time. It was my third character that I had went through. And I fucking beat... You know, when you go all the way through, or Destiny people know what I'm talking about. You go through, um, and when you have beat the Prison of Elders the first time, they give you an uh, exotic automatically. And I got my fucking Gallahorn. I got my fucking Gallahorn. I, I fucking was so excited. I screamed. I fucking screamed. Call, whatever, you, whatever. I fucking screamed. I fucking was tucking my kids into bed and was telling them all about the Gallahorn like it was a bedtime story. You know, like, fucking once upon a time, you know, your daddy, he was playing Destiny and he opened up a Gallahorn. I mean, it was like a fucking epic thing for me, man, because Gallahorn was like, when you want on fucking, uh, what's the name of that shit? LFG? Man, if you, do you have a Gallahorn? If you don't have Gallahorn, get the fuck out, you know? And I was like, man, that's fucked up, man. You know what I mean? Fuck, man. But when I got my Gallahorn, I ain't gonna front. I was like, yo, you ain't got a Gallahorn? Get the fuck out, bitch. You know, I felt like I was part of the fucking club. You know what I mean? And it was an awesome experience because I could be like, I'm, I got a Gallahorn now, man. It was, fuck, it was, it was an epic fucking time. Um, I fell off of playing Destiny for a while because I went back to work. I mean, I played it as much as I could. Uh, but around the Taken King came out, I was like, eh, I'll just wait for the Taken King. Um, a lot of people who are fucking super crazy about Destiny, they prepare for this shit. Like, I'll get to the Rise of Iron shit, but 
I, I don't like to fucking prepare for it. I like I don't like to just play and play and play and play. I like to jump into it because like, I haven't played it in a while, like catch up with the old friend. You know what I mean? That's how I kind of took the Taken King. I was like, man, I don't want to play it for the Taken King comes out. I just like don't want to touch it. And when the Taken King comes out, just fucking jump right back into it all over again. You know what I mean? And just had those, those reconnections and those feelings and like, oh, this fucking game is amazing. So anyway. Taken King came out, play the fuck out of that. I won't lie, I, I kind of dumbed down for me around before the April update, and I didn't, I wasn't playing as much. Um, play some PvP, we got it right now, PvP. Uh, matches every once in a while just to keep my shit on par. And then uh, after the April update, I think I, you know, I got into it for a minute because all the new changes and shit. I think there was like a new strike or something or whatever. Um, so I fucking, I did that. I played uh, a lot of that stuff. Um, because of the April update and, and there was new things and then it just died off for me again um, and I just feel like Destiny is one of those games man it's like you gotta take a break from it it is repetitious and, and we all know that anybody who's played the game anybody who even knows about it it's re repetitious as hell you mean you gotta be dedicated as fuck and I, and I get it and I am um, but it was like there was other games coming out and you know I was like fuck it you know I wanna, I wanna play these other things and you know me doing this YouTube channel I, I wanna do my game reviews and and stuff like that and it, 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 so i started playing like lots of other games to do my game reviews etc etc so I, honestly i haven't touched destiny in probably a good two months um i did boot it up when the new rise of iron symbol came out just to see what's going on but i, I literally like I, I think i started a strike or something like that or I, I just didn't want to spoil anything for me um i didn't want to go back to playing it to just like you know play it you know oh well let's prepare for it i don't want to prepare for it i just like want to take my complete break for a minute like i have and as soon as the taking king comes out i want to jump right back into that shit and fucking play that shit so that being said uh on in two days on tuesday which is the 20th when that game comes out i will be recording myself playing it all fucking day uh, for, well, not all day. I'm going to wait to my kids go to school, and once they go to school, I am going to play that shit. And I'm going to play it all fucking day. Well, at least until they get home from school, then it's dinner time and homework and shit like that. But you know, anyway, I am going to record myself playing it all day. I want to share it with anybody who like to watch. Uh, but anyway, I thought I'd just share my story with Destiny, man. It's it's something that I can't explain it. I I really cannot explain how much that game has impacted me for the simple fact that I have never spent that amount of time with a game. Uh, MMOs and shit like World of Warcraft and stuff like that, I've never done any of that shit, man. I'm, like I said, I'm more of a campaign player. I like a game for a good story, storytelling, voice work, obviously gameplay, but all that shit matters to me. And Destiny didn't catch me like that. It got me at the tail end and, you know, you know I'm not like these fucking religious destiny players and know everything in and out know what's coming you know but i will say that i respect the game and i love the game very much um but with that being said man I, that's that's all i really got i'm just really hyped for fucking uh uh rise of iron and i thought i would just tell my little tell about destiny and uh see you know hope you guys like to listen to it but anyway thanks for watching man this is comic call sound waves um i will see you guys probably tuesday evening with a video of me playing the fuck out of rise of iron uh i hope to complete the fucking entire campaign that day and uh i will put it up then and thank you guys for watching much obliged and uh see you on the next one later